What's up, people? Just in time for another video. So, we're back with another experiment video. And as you probably just saw, I have a balloon. I'm sorry about the light in the background, by the way. I have a balloon. It's over there. It's technically a water balloon, but I decided to fill up with air. I blew it up. And water balloons are really, really hard to inflate with your mouth. I'm just juggling like a soccer ball. I was juggling soccer balls this easy. Anywho. It says, our, this experiment, as you probably saw in the title, involves balloons. And fire. Well, candles, but same difference. But before I start the actual experiment, sorry about the mess. This is kind of a mess. I'll clean it up later. But, um... A quick life hack with candles. You know, these kind of candles where it's like the stick. You probably can't see that well. It's like at the bottom. It's like where the blue layer is. You know, it's like right at the top of the blue layer. You can't see through here though. So let's say I had a match, right? Let me find a match. And hopefully a matchbox. Okay, I don't know what a matchbox is, but I'm just going to use the um, stove. But yeah, life hack, well, second life hack. It's a mini one. You probably know this already. If you don't have a, like, matchbox, if you have a match, you don't have a matchbox, right? You have a match, you don't have a matchbox. I'm sorry, I can't speak. You can use a stove to ignite it. Ignite it. You bet. Boom. Careful when you do it. Well, like, say I have this candle, right? How in the world am I supposed to light this if it's all the way down here? Because when I do this, see the candle is going up towards my finger? Yeah. It can't even reach it. I'd burn myself. Can't do that. So, man, that smells like smoke. Instead, for these kind of candles, which is not the candle we're using today in our experiment. Yes, we're using candles, but I didn't say it already. Kind of forgot it. This is a, like, we are making spaghetti is the thing they put in the bowl. So, yeah. There's several of these. You just get one of them. Light it as if it's a match. Now it does ignite very well. Like it's not big flame. But it's big enough. Right? Then since it's so big, you put it in the candle jar. Put it next to the candlestick thing. And boom! You got it. Yes. Well, oh yeah. God. But yeah, it's lit. So yeah. And I'm gonna blow this out. <laughs> Smoky. And I'm gonna put this back. Oh. Please keep the spaghetti fill in the candle, but it's not that big of a deal. Trying to get it out. Oh well. So back to the actual experiment itself. So. We'll be using this thing for convenience, right? Because that one won't work as well. You need the flame to be close to the top. So this one you can just use a boring old match. Because, you know, it's right out there. You don't need to have a um, spaghetti thing. Also, I need to turn off the stove. Okay. So I'm going to light this here. I don't know how this is going to be in the film, how loud, but like, probably going to be quite loud. Now, where did I put the balloon? I put it somewhere. I lost the balloon, but guys probably are like, it's over there. How did you forget? But I found it. Okay, it's dropped off the counter. Now, what do you think is going to happen? If you put a balloon over a flame, it's a normal balloon, put it over there, right? You know, I'd rather not hold this. Maybe I'd have a like, tongs or something. There's something to hold over. I don't want to hold it in my hand. I'm using tongs, I might just use that. I mean, I always can do anything if you hold it by hand, but like, I'd rather not. Ready? I don't know how this is gonna be, but. 
Take a guess what you think is going to happen. <laughs> Crap, that scared me. Oh my gosh. But yeah, it pops. And so does the um flame, the flame on it nights. Oh my gosh, that was loud. That scared me. Sorry that was too loud for you guys. I did not know how loud that was going to be. I scared myself with that one. Anyhow, I'm going to reignite this thing. So as you saw, a balloon with air pops over a flame. Really, really loud. Now, I didn't tell you is I already prepared a second balloon. What's different about this balloon, eh? Well, here's the difference. There's a little bit of water, just a little bit. Now, what do you think is going to happen when I put the balloon over the fire now? This balloon's a lot heavier. Ready? Look how close it is. And yet, it's not popping. Just the balloon's even black, the bottom of the balloon. Hold on. Let me angle you guys. You see it? And yet, it hasn't popped. I hope it doesn't I'm make a mess. But yeah, as long as you have it so the flame is like under where there's water, you'll be fine. Look, the flame's literally on the balloon, not doing anything. Crap! Woo! That was also really loud. I accidentally put it like literally like onto the flame, whereas. Oh crap, what happened there? Well, I put the balloon onto the flame where, like, the flame went over the air part. It can only be in the blue part. You don't want to put it way, way, way close. Especially where it's already dark. I think it just broke through the linen. The, um, it's blue material. But, anyway, that was a very loud video. And pop. Now, there's something weird. Look at the candle at eye level. Okay, this is going to be really hard if I can get you guys to do this. You see how it's, like, up? Like, look. See how there's, like, a layer of, like, water up there? That's because water molecules like to stay together. And so they don't want to break apart. That's why I'll probably do a video on later. They just like to stay apart. Actually, I won't say the video, but... They just like to stay together. It's so not going to, you know, separate as easily. Yeah, that's all water. I got some water on my computer, but, I mean, it's not a lot. I'll deal with it later. Anywho, experiment works for the most part. Just don't overdo it. Like, don't put it super, super close. But you saw how close it was. I think I just put it on, like, some of the air or something like that. But, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Um, you guys should try it, but, but, I recommend having adult supervision. Just in case things go bad. And I don't know how bad things really be. But anytime you use fire, you gotta be careful. Because fire is dangerous. So, yeah. Anyhow, that's most of the water. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't already, that's the garage or someone's coming. So, yeah. Peace out, people.